What is going on traders? Welcome back to The Traveling Trader. So today, what I wanted to discuss are two indicators. One is actually an indicator, the other one is a chart, and how these two things will help you determine whether Bitcoin has bottomed out. Now, as a disclaimer, I know I've been in trading long enough to know that you can't catch the bottom with certainty and trying to do so without utilizing other methods of analysis is an exercise in futility. Trust me, I know this. So these two methods that I'm gonna present to you today should be taken in confluence with other indicators just like every other market indicator. In isolation, they could mean very little, but when combined with other indicators that are telling you the same thing, you have confluence and confluence is key when trying to protect your portfolios and implement sound trading strategy. And no, for those wondering, this isn't a new studio. I'm just trying out a different room in the house and I actually kind of like it. For those that have been here for a while, comment down below, let me know if you like the new setup. All right, let's get into it. So the first one that I wanted to get into is called the Gaussian channel. Now it's named after the famous 19th century German mathematician Friedrich Gauss. I hope I'm saying that right. It sounded right, shut. And his discoveries and achievements have led to advancements in a number of different fields in the same vein as late great mathematicians such as Fibonacci. Obviously, these guys weren't around when the markets were around, but their mathematical and statistical models stand the test of time and can be applied to a number of different fields. All right, enough of the history lesson. Looking at the Gaussian channel. Now, I actually got this from a user on TradingView called Donovan Wall. I have no affiliation with him or her. Shout out to them. Although he's got a beard. Okay, I'm comfortable saying him. Um, and although he was using it on the Bitcoin dollar chart for the 60 minutes, I took it and applied it to the weekly chart of Bitcoin. And as you see here, when applied, it actually tells a very relevant story. So without getting into the cal, I'll link this down below in the description and you can read the calculations. But just like the Bollinger Bands, the Gaussian channel consists of a collection of moving averages. And since moving averages are lagging indicators, there are a few lag reduction techniques that are applied to this indicator. And again, I won't go through them. You can look at the formula yourself. But essentially, in a nutshell, when the indicator turns green, that is the start of a bull rally. And when the indicator is red, then that is the, uh, we are in the midst of a bearish pattern, right? And if you look at it over the length of time that we have for Bitcoin's chart, this is against Bitstamp, the one week going all the way back to 2011, you could see that it is applied with scary accuracy, right? And we see that currently it is turning green once again. And we have been in a bull market, obviously, in 2019, and that is turning green once again. A couple of things I want to note with the Gaussian channel. Just because it's green doesn't mean we can't have a retracement. I went back and looked at some data from 2016. And if you look here, you'll see that the price actually dropped. Uh, it was, sorry, back here. The price actually dropped from around 780 all the way down to the 400s. It was like 460, a 40% drop. And we were still within a green Gaussian channel, right? But the uptrend still continued. So obviously you could still suffer retracements during the period. And as you see here in the bull run of 2017, it's, it's not like it turned red at the peak of the bull rally. I mean, just not until the indicators calculated that we were in a bear market. And as you can see here, it was in late 2018. However, it has definitely been a, a valid indicator looking at history to point out the start of bullish rallies. So that retesting of the 21 EMA that I keep talking about that is due for Bitcoin, that could still happen while still maintaining a green Gaussian channel. Again, we have to use it in confluence with other indicators. All right, so the second thing that I wanted to go over is actually a chart that is from a site called wubull.com. And if you look here, you'll see that they have a bunch of Bitcoin price models. Now, these price models were derived by different users. You'll see the users credited here, CoinMetrics, Willy Wu, uh, David Puel. And there's a bunch of different models you can look at, but there are two that I wanna focus on today. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of these indicators here, and I'm gonna keep the price, obviously, and I'm gonna keep one called top and one called CVDD. And we'll go through these, what each of these is at the moment. So if you look at top, top is just the average cap multiplied by 35. Historically has matched market tops. And what these users have done is basically go back in time and back test these indicators and use what seems like arbitrary multiplying factors such as 35. It seems like a random number, right? But when you look at 
the indicator in practice, you'll see that multiplying the average market cap by 35 gives you a great guide to where Bitcoin might top out at. Now, it's not going to tell you when Bitcoin is going to top out, right? But just like all indicators, the extent of a rally or the extent of a bear market, as well as the timing of them is something that's unknown, right? If Nostradamus, Jesus and Einstein came back from the dead, they wouldn't be able to tell you when a bull market and when a bear market are going to occur to the date and what the extent of each of those rallies or declines are. All right. And then the other one that I'll look at for the other side of the coin, which is the, the bottom is called the CVDD. Now this stands for cumulative value days destroyed. And this is a very interesting way of putting it, but essentially this has historically picked the bottom of the market when coins pass from old investor to new investor the transaction carries a USD value and also destroys an amount of hodl time by the previous holder. CVDD is the cumulative sum of this value time destruction as a ratio to the age of the market and divided by 6 million as a calibration factor. Again, 6 million, just like the 35, seems like an arbitrary number. But when you, when you look at it in practice, you'll see how applicable it is. So this to me sounds like a very calculated and complex way of trying to determine money flow, right? Between an old investor and a new investor. And you can really nerd out on these price models if you read the details of each of them. It's, it's quite astounding really how they came up with some of these. Now for some of these pricing models, I do want to go into them in detail at a later time and see if there's some sort of lag reduction built into these indicators. But for now, using these two as a guide, again, in confluence with your fundamentals and your other indicators, I don't see enough people using these two and they introduce a really interesting variant to what you usually see, right? So I'm definitely going to be utilizing these two and testing them over time and i'll even be sprinkling them in my technical analysis videos shout out to those of you who subscribe but yeah gaussian channel and bitcoin price models from woo bull charts check those out i'll leave those links in the description if you guys are not part of the premium trading group and you would like access to the trade signals and or one-on-one -on -one training with me, that link is also in the description. I take a maximum of 10 traders per month where I do one-on-one -on -one technical analysis training and it's usually done over video conference. To me, it gives an advantage over something like pre-recorded videos. So check that out, link is in the description. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. If you are a returning subscriber and you like this format, then leave that in the comment section below and I'll be sure to do more of these videos because I really like doing them. Even though the lighting and all that, that was a bitch of a setup, I'll be honest. As always, stay safe out there traders, peace.